Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you all are having a great day. Today I will be building what could be considered the simplest hydroponic system or the Krapke system. This type of system does not require electricity, aerators or pumps. What is the Krapke method? It is where a seed or seedling is set in a grow medium in a net cup and placed into the top of a light tight container which is filled with a nutrient solution that would be sufficient for the growth cycle of the plant. Over time, as the plant grows, the nutrient level decreases, creating a moist airspace and expanded root growth. The roots occupying this space are considered oxygen roots and provide aeration for the plant, whilst the submerged roots absorb the water and nutrients. The nutrient solution should never cover the oxygen roots, as this will drown the plant. This type of system is best suited for leafy greens. It holds one and a half gallons of solution. A single plant would require approximately one gallon of the nutrient solution during its growth cycle. So you will need to top it up. I will be using PVC for this build, but you can use any type of container. Just make sure that it has a lid to keep the moisture in and make sure that it is light proof so that you avoid algae growth. As algae is a living organism, and it will compete with your plants for nutrients. All right guys, so this is what we are going to build. Let's do it. My name is Sharon and I am the over 60 crafter. On one end, I used a four inch PVC end cap. On the other end, I used an adapter and a screw type plug for easy cleaning. You will require a 4 inch PVC collar for the adapter, 32 inches of 4 inch PVC pipe, 13 inches of 1 by 3 white pine, PVC glue and tread seal, growing medium of your choice and 5 net cups. Tools required, a tape measure, a hacksaw, a jigsaw, a drill, a 1 and 78 inch hole saw and a 1 inch hole saw. Measure 2 lengths of the PVC pipe, 1 at 30 inches and the other at 2 inches. Cut both to length using a hacksaw. Remove the burrs with some sandpaper. Draw a straight line across the pipe from end to end. Measure 3 and a half inches from an end and place a mark. Using the 1 inch hole saw, drill a pilot hole. Then switch the drill to reverse and continue drilling. This hole will be used to measure the level of solution and to top it up when necessary. Make a cut across the 2 inch length and slip it onto the 30 inch length, 2 inches from the end. Measure 1.5 inches from the end of the 2 inch length. This is where you will place the first hole. Then add 4 more marks, each 5 inches apart. Clamp your pipe down and start drilling the holes. Begin drilling a pilot hole first. Then switch the drill to reverse and continue drilling. Do this for the remaining holes. Using sandpaper, sand off the burrs. Measure one inch from the end of the one by three and one inch from the bottom up. Place the two inch PVC length on the wood. Make sure it touches both marks and outline the curve of the pipe. Mark off an inch from the end of the curve and draw a straight line down. Using a jigsaw, cut along the lines. Make two of these and then sand them smooth. Choose your own finish for the wood supports. I applied a shoshugi band finish. Apply E6000 glue to the curve in the wood supports and space them apart so that they would be 5 inches inward from the end of the pipe on both sides. Rest the pipe on the supports and apply a little pressure. Allow the glue to dry overnight. Apply PVC glue to the end cap and the end of the pipe, the side that does not have the 1 inch hole and press it down firmly. Rinse out the system to remove the plastic bits. Glue the collar and press it firmly into place. Then glue the 4 inch adapter into the collar. 
Apply thread seal to the plug to avoid leaks and screw it into the adapter. Mix your nutrient solution and test your PPM and pH levels before adding it to the system. Adjust if necessary. Place your seedling in your net cup and add a growing medium to help block the light from reaching the solution. This will also fill up spaces and prevent mosquitoes from getting into the system and laying their eggs in the stagnant solution. Insert your plants into the system. After a few weeks, your plant should be ready for harvest. During the growth cycle, you will need to top up the solution. Refill it to about an inch below the net pot as you do not want to drown the oxygen roots. You can use a dowel for measuring the level. There you have it, the Kratky method using PVC pipe. If you're interested in more information on the Kratky method, I will leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you're interested in building either an NFT system or a Dutch bucket hydroponic system, be sure to check out my other video tutorials. Well, happy growing, guys. Take care and bye for now.